So let's get into it. How much masturbation is too much? And what are the possible negative effects when masturbation becomes a problem? So I recently posted this video on my Instagram captioned to jerk off or not to jerk off. And it was essentially referring to this clip of a female host shocked that a man would jerk off five times per week and calling that an addiction. In my video, I talk about how ejaculatory frequency has been associated with reduced risk of prostate cancer. Check out that video if you haven't already, it breaks it down. So anyway, I posted about this video basically saying that jerking off five times a week may actually be more beneficial than harm. This has garnered over 60,000 likes and counting and almost a million views and thousands and thousands of comments. One theme repeated in the comment section is how much masturbation is too much? Is there a number? Is there a standard? How do we know? Many commenters expressing concerns about the downsides of masturbating five times per week, particularly concerning psychosocial negative effects. So let's get into it. How much masturbation is too much? And what are the possible negative effects when masturbation becomes a problem? First, from a medical standpoint, there is no standard frequency when it comes to masturbation. Everyone is different. Some of us never masturbate, and that's okay. You're not broken. Some of us masturbate seldomly, and that's okay too. And then there are some of us that masturbate daily or more, and even that's okay. Studies have shown that ejaculation, which may come from masturbation or sexual encounter or intercourse about five times per week, is associated with a 30% reduction in prostate cancer risk. So great, masturbation is all good. Well, can masturbation ever become a problem? Indeed, masturbation, though rarely, can become a problem and too much if it is interfering with your life. If you're always thinking about it, if you masturbate at places or times that are inappropriate, if it feels compulsive, like you just cannot resist the urge, and if it is interfering with your sex life, how can too much masturbation negatively affect your sex life? Well, one, it may make it harder for you to reach climax or orgasm in partnered sex particularly if you use porn regularly to masturbate and require increasingly more explicit and, let's be honest, unrealistic sexual scenarios on the screen. This can lead to unrealistic expectations and dissatisfaction with real-world sexual encounters. This can even be a cause of difficulty getting erection. It can also cause difficulty with getting aroused and ultimately reaching orgasm. So there you have it. How much masturbation is too much? The answer is it depends. All in all, there is no standard number. And as long as masturbation isn't ruling your life and affecting your bedroom, jerk off. And don't forget to hit that bell, subscribe, join me every hump day for all things down there right here.